FEMCs is obviously a portmanteau of female and, and, and MCs. Um, but like one of the things that um, you notice through, you know, a lot of the um, songs written, you know, by women, you know, is they're they're very intersexual in 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 um, in terms of like um, looking at oppression as an intersectional uh, you know thing. So looking at how you know um, the oppressive systems of race, the oppressive systems of you know gender, the oppressive systems of of sexuality, um, you know, gender identity. You know, all these things, you know, class, um, you know, how all these things kind of come together and like where you need to resist patriarchy, you need to re resist racism. Um, and they, the, you know, whereas with like a lot of uh, male rappers, it's, it's it, you know, oppression is ra racially based. Um, and they don't have that perspective to look at it, you know, from a female, you know, speci specifically in an industry where, you know, women, um, you know, have been objectified in, in music, in, in music videos, um, and, 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 and in the industry. Like how, okay, like we'll, um, we'll sign, you know, this female rapper to a deal, but, you know, she's going to have to, um, you know, appear in music videos like this and she's gonna have to write songs about about this that are gonna sell to, to dudes you know um and so yeah they, they have a very different perspective of systems of oppressions and we'll get we'll get into um you know mc light who i think really addresses this well queen latifah who i think really addresses this well um but like the one of the main you know um elements expressed in, 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 in songs written by female rappers is basically, you know, um, talking about reforming and creating a form of, of black feminism or, 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 or being part of, you know, this sort of um, third wave feminism, right, that's kind of getting away from, um, you know, a feminist ideology that is uh, written, creative, theorized, expressed in terms of, you know, um, white, straight um, women and, and moving that into the world of, of blackness, you know, and, and creating a new way of thinking about um, feminism. So if you want to look at maybe some, some, an author who exemplifies that would be like the, the work of Bell Hooks, um, you know, but um, it's very important, you know, they, they express not just femininity, Right, because many of these female MCs are are black, you know, are, is what, what it means to be a black woman, and in some cases, a black queer woman, or you know, a, a black, uh, you know, black and trans, you know, um, and and that's a real important ele element that we see in a lot of the songs. But with uh, you know female rappers you know, um, they tend to be like their performance and them as a performer is centralized, right? It's less about the, the beats. It's less about, um, you know, um, it's often less about groups, uh, you know, save like TLC, um, Salt and Pepper, right? If you look at most um, female rappers that are out now, it's, it's, it's often an individual. Right, you really look at that. There are very few like groups, right, or duos or, or whatever. It's it's it, it's Cardi B, right? It's Megan The Stallion. Now they do collabs and stuff like stuff like that, or it's Rhapsody, or it's Sampa the Grey, or whatever, whatever you know. Um, but it's them. You know what I'm saying? Like there's not like a group, you, you know. Um, so the, in that essence, you know, it's often focused on the female performer individually. That's just kind of an interesting, you know, thing. Um, now, there are so many stereotypes, you know, created and perpetuated in rap music, and there's various reasons for that. Number one, it, it's it's a patriarchal, you know, music culture in so in so many ways. At least the music industry side of things, in terms of records, you know, and music that you hear versus the cultural element of it. Um, but like, 
you know, female rappers, femcees really challenge a lot of the stereotypes in rap, rap, specifically stereotypes that are created by, you know, um, male rappers and through their music videos and expressions. Um, often in, you know, specifically, you know, in their music videos, but often in the lyrics, there's a resistance to, um, to the male gaze. And I think that's, that's really important you know, um, that they express sexuality through the, f the female perspective. Um, and, you know, if they're, they're going to be sexual and sex sexualized, they're sexualizing themselves. And I think that's really, really important. They're not submissive. They're not allowing the male to dominate them or control them. In fact, in many instances, they're the ones in, in control and they are the queens and they, they are the, the ones with the, with the power. Um, and that's a real, real important element, regardless of how record labels, um, you know, often, of course, run by men um, and often owned and run by, you know, white dudes, um, you know, um, try to force the male gaze on, on, on them, you know. But um, I think that's a real important thing and something we can tease apart when we look at, you know, uh, uh, songs like WAP, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, which really challenged the male gaze in so many ways and many other things, all right? Uh, female rappers also critique history, the, the, the writing of history from a, a male perspective and specifically a Eurocentric Western, you know, white male perspective. Um, they challenge patriarchy, ob obviously, um, through, through black fem feminism, uh, um, Etc. and language, how women are talked about, thought about, and conceived. Um, again, I mentioned this, but, you know, often expressed as, like, a woman's right to be a sexual subject instead of a sexual object. So, one of the problematic, you know, um, strategies, techniques, um, you know, characteristics, however you want to think about it, in, in rap music and particularly mainstream pop rap stuff is the sexualization of, of women where they're objectified as sexual objects there for the male's desire. Well, with female MCs, you know, it's not about the male's desire. If they want to please a male, it's, it's for their own pleasure. You know what I'm saying? That's a major part. And they're, they're, they're sexually... They're, it, they're about their sexual agency. Now, Money Love talks about that um, in um, Buddy, you know, where she addresses that very early. I mean, we're talking that's like 1988, you know, but that's, that's a thing. Like, you know, you can't look, look at like Nicki Minaj or, or Cardi B or, or whatever and, and really say like they're there for the male gaze because like in a lot of ways, they have control over the songs that they're putting out and the way that they do their music, music videos. And it's about them being sexual because they want to be, them dressing how they want to because it makes them feel good, it makes them feel beautiful, etc. Um, and often what you have in a lot of these songs is, you know, because groups like N.W.A. <clears throat> and... Um, specifically NWA, but group, you know, a lot of, a lot of the gangster rap, G-Funk stuff, where women are called bitches and hoes all of the time. You see a lot of these female rappers actually reclaiming that word, like taking that back and a, putting a new meaning to it, um, giving a new idea, a new picture in our heads to, to think about um, those words, like just basically taking that back. Um, from them and, and putting power behind something that's meant to objectify and demean, demean women. I think that's a real important part.